Hello, everyone. Hope you can uh, hear me and see me well. Uh, it's uh, five o'clock. I, I suggest we wait one maximum two more minutes if there are any participants who will be joining us uh, on our second Click and Boat webinar. Uh, in the meantime, if you're here for the first time, uh, you will see on your right part of screen, there is a question tabs. Here you can ask questions during presentation and we will try to answer to all of your questions. And also we will have a Q&A session by end of presentation where we will try, as I said, to answer to all possible questions that you asked us. Uh, I, will ask, I will send two polls right now, just so be sure that you can hear me and see my screen. Just a second. I hope uh, audio is all good. And the second one, I will share my presentation for, so if you can answer to a poll, you just press yes or no and submit your vote. And then it, this will be, make my life way easier so I can be sure. And I will share my screen for today. I hope you also see uh, my screen. As I said, uh, let's wait uh, one more minute so other owners can join us and then we can uh, proceed uh, with our second uh, Click and Boat webinar. Okay, I suggest it's a uh, five oh three. I can see uh, lots of owners who actually subscribed uh, join us. Uh, once again, welcome to second uh, Click and Boat uh, webinar. First one uh, this year. Uh, we did it uh, in December, and the reason why we are doing right now, uh, beginning of April, is uh, just because we want to prepare you for a high season and to give you all tips and tricks. Uh, how can you boost uh, your revenue? So what can you change with your uh, account? So uh, to start, my name is uh, Lucia. I'm, uh, with most of you, I have been in contact uh, either over phone or I met you maybe on some uh, boat shows. And maybe there are some owners that I still uh, didn't meet, but I'm a marketing manager for owners at uh, Click and Boat and Nautal. And today with me, I have two beautiful uh, my colleagues who will be helping you answer to all of your questions. So girls, if you can present yourself, please. Sure. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Sarah. I'm the fleet manager for uh, for new markets. And uh, as Lucy was saying before, Lucia was saying before, I will uh, try to answer all the questions that uh, we will be able to collect during the presentation. Uh, I take care of mostly of the US, the Dutch and the German market. So for really anything you may need, you know that also after this uh, webinar, you can count on me. Lou, uh, Sophia, I leave you the floor. Hello, everyone, and thank you, girls. Thank you both, Lucia and Sara. Uh, it's a pleasure to, to be here with you. I'm looking forward to, to help you and answer all of your questions uh, during this webinar, and as well as to start working with you uh, on improvements for this season. There's a lot of coming up uh, for 2021 for Click and Vote Group. Uh, so stay tuned. Lucia is going to, to present you everything. 
Uh, I'm mostly in charge of Croatia uh, and uh, um, Dubai. Uh, in Croatia, my focus uh, is mostly uh, central Dalmatia, Dalmatia, sorry, that is uh, split and the uh, islands. Uh, and uh, for the rest of the Croatia, my colleague Mara is uh, in charge. Um, so just so you know, uh, if, uh, if uh, you are thinking about uh, getting in touch. Uh, thank you all and Lucia, go on. Thank you much, so girls. Uh, okay, so uh, basically an agenda for today's uh, webinar is uh, it will last maximum one hour. Uh, we divide it in uh, four parts. Uh, first, I will briefly talk about uh, click and vote brands. Uh, I will mention more about your owner support team. So who is your account manager? Where can you reach them and how? And then I'm sure th uh, this is uh, one of the questions which is most important for you. What is happening right now since uh, Nautal's acquisition, which happened in July 2020? Uh, after that, we'll proceed uh, content of your ads. So as you know, ads is the first thing your clients see when they join a click and vote website. So your ads, they really need to be polished and clean, meaning that good quality of picture, original pictures, you should have a description, uh, you should know how to use discounts and promotions. So we want to be sure once uh, clients join click and vote uh, platform, they want to get uh, they want to see the best ads uh, they're going to rent and the best boats they're going to rent in the end. And after we take care of uh, content of your ads, we will focus on your account performance, meaning that you as an owner and you as a owner of your boat and a click and boat uh, account, what can you do to actually uh, improve and boost your account and in the end close more bookings and get higher revenues? And the last uh, but not least part is the Q&A uh, session. As I said, we will answer to your questions uh, orally as well. So to start uh, about our brands, I will talk just briefly, but I would like you to know there are more companies uh, in our group. So Click and Boat currently uh, with the Nautilus acquisition, we have more than 40,000 boats uh, online. Company was founded in 2014. And the headquarter is in uh, boulogne billancourt which is a uh, suburbs of uh, Paris uh, in France. So Click and Boat is a parent company, meaning that there are other sister companies that uh, join us in our group. And as you know, in July 2020, as I already mentioned, uh, Spanish company Nautal, which was uh, launched one year uh, before Click and Boat in 2013, became a uh, part of a Click and Boat. A group Nautal uh, is uh, basically their experts in uh, Latin America and also in a houseboat segment uh, in Germany. So with the uh, Nautal and Click and Boat, we are working together to build the sailing of tomorrow. Uh, we also have offices over there in Barcelona, in Spain, where uh, part of our uh, owner support uh, team actually uh, move uh, at the beginning of January. So if you're in Barcelona by any chance, you can always visit us in the office. We already have an occasion with several owners who met with their account uh, managers. They discussed about their account, about their profile, what can they improve. And this way you can personally meet your account manager as well. Besides Nautal, we have Ocean Evasion, which uh, I'm sure most of you also heard. It's a consulting travel agency. Uh, they're founded back in the days in 1992. Uh, what's different between uh, Nautal and Ocean Evasion, uh, Nautal Click and Boat and Ocean Evasion is that they're renting on a most only on a weekly basis sailboats and catamarans. So they're famous since they're consulting travel agency. They already have some beautiful sailing routes and mooring spots uh, defined. So it's way easier for uh, clients. They get a package with everything uh, already decided. And the uh, headquarters office is in uh, Lorient, which is uh, part of Bretagne uh, in France. Also, if you are there, feel free uh, to visit office. We are more than welcome uh, all our partners that we have been uh, working with. And lastly, but not uh, least, is uh, uh, our, uh, one of our sister companies, Cancel, which was officially the oldest one, founded in 1983. It's a German 
company. They basically do the same thing as Ocean Evasion. So they're renting on a weekly basis, mo mostly uh, sailboats and catamarans. And by joining Click and Boat Group, they definitely got a higher uh, digital visibility. And they're located in Hamburg, uh, Germany. So with Click and Boat, as I said, we have three more uh, sister companies and this makes four of us uh, in total and i'm sure that uh, with all the boats that i mentioned and all the offices that we have and number of employees we are definitely the leading uh, boat rental uh, company uh, in the world uh your so before this webinar started i was checking some of the nationalities of our owners who uh, joined i saw there are lots of people from Greece, Croatia, Poland, uh, we have also Netherlands, Germany, etc. So here I presented you our uh, owner support team. Uh, there is a, a, on this slide, there are six people, but currently we have more than 25 people in this uh, business unit, meaning that people or besides uh, Southeastern Europe and the new markets, we also have Italian team, we have Spanish team and French team. Uh, these are people from all different uh, places from the world. They're speaking multiple languages and they're in charge for specific uh, markets. Here uh, you can uh, see we are starting with Phoebe, who is a uh, head of Southeastern Europe. She's in charge for Croatia, Greece and Cyprus. And in her team, we have Sofia, who is today with us. Uh, she will be helping you answer questions as she already presented herself. She said that she's part of uh, Dalmatia in Croatia. She's also taking care of Montenegro and uh, uh, Dubai. We have uh, Mara. She's taking care of Croatia, Slovenia, Slovenia and Thailand. And uh, also in Southeastern Europe uh, team, we have Dimitrios. Uh, in uh, new markets, we have Sara. New markets, basically, they're taking care of United States of America, Germany, Netherlands, Poland, uh, etc. And in Sara's team, we have Alara. So, as I said, uh, this is what makes uh, Click and Boat uh, different than other platforms. You have your own support uh, team dedicated just for owners. Uh, all of you already received uh, our campaign that we sent it a few weeks ago uh, with your information of your dedicated account manager. So, you have their email addresses, you have their phone numbers, and you have. if you have any doubts, you can always call them and reach them. Uh, to see if they can answer to your questions, how can you uh, change in your profile if you have any doubts, etc. Uh, and last slide for this uh, first part is uh, something that I'm uh, pretty sure it's mostly interested uh, for you is uh, we, as I said, Nautal was, uh, Nautal acquisition was done in July, 2020. So almost is going to be one year. What is important for you that Nautal and Click and Boat will remain two separate platforms. So you will have your login information and your password on Nautal and on Click and Boat, just like you had it right now. And by this, you will have access to a wide audience of international customers. So there is a bigger number of clients who are interested in your um, boats and renting your fleet in the end. And the clients who are interested in uh, renting your fleet, they will, you, will be, you will still continue to communicate and send offers to customers through both platforms. So it's not because uh, we merged and there is acquisition. For now, we are still working as the two separate platforms. Uh, once again, you're continuing and you're sending and communicating with uh, owners on two uh, platforms. But what is different is that our IT team is currently working on a brand new, we call it brand new multi-platform account management tool, which is exclusively dedicated to our owners. For you, why, why is this interesting and why is this important? So you're talking and you're communicating on two platforms, but you will be up, uh, able to update your listing in case you have one boat or listings in case you have more boats on only one platform, meaning that uh, you can update prices, calendar availability, discounts, extras, and much more only on one platform. And all this information will be automatically updated on all platforms of the group where you have account. So let's say if you, 
update your listings on uh, click and boat all this information will be taken for your fleet and updated on Nautal. So you don't have to do the double job. This is also easier for us to monitor the fleet, but you're still communicating and talking uh, via Nautal and via Click and Bot uh, profile. So for example, here I put a screenshot, uh, some of the things that are going to be synchronized. So as I said, pictures, prices, equipment, extras, discounts, et cetera, it will be uh, synchronized in uh, 24 hours. Our IT team has been working on this really intensively. It's also in our uh, priority and interest to be taken care of, so make it, so make it easier high season uh, for you as well. By this, we are concluding our first uh, part of presentation and we are moving to content of your ads. So, as I mentioned, uh, clients, when they're coming to Click and Boot platform, ads is the first thing that they see. So, ads, they really need to be polished and they need to be taken care of and they need to be upgraded. Every time something is changing in your fleet, automatically you should go to your profile and change it as well. So, we it can be sure that everything uh, is uh, on time, especially not uh, during the last minute during high season when you're uh, full of work, when you don't have time to be in, uh, in front of laptop. This is also one of the reasons why we are doing our webinar uh, in April. So uh, what I suggest always to owners, if you don't have your uh, real pot, a photo of yourself in a profile picture, I definitely uh, suggest you to put because this way you're giving more friendly and warm approach to a client. After all, this is also with a picture of your, of your boat. Uh, this is uh, the other thing they see. So by this, you're definitely uh, giving a nice atmosphere also what you can do is uh, write uh, in your profile like a small description how long you have been in uh, in business where you're renting etc this uh, it's not visible to our clients but it's visible to our sales agents so it's definitely easier for them when they want to propose your fleet to get to get more information uh, about your business model about your company about uh, uh, how do you work where do you rent what's your fleet etc so you, they can can already skip one step of a uh, phone call, emails, etc. After putting a profile picture, a real photo of you in profile picture, you should definitely focus on uh, pictures of your ads. So here I cannot point out how it's important to have original photos versus catalog pictures. So there is a big, big difference also when, uh, especially there are clients who are renting for the first time and they don't have uh, any sailing experience. Uh, they never been on a boat before. They, they would like to see real original uh, pictures of your boat. Quality of pictures is also really important. High numbers of uh, pixels, not having blurry uh, picture, always first photo should be displayed outside of a boat while in navigation. Here I gave you an example of same boat, but you can see there is a difference. So the boat on the right is a bit further. It's hard for a client to understand uh, how does boat look. And here on the left, it's more closer approach. It's easier uh, to see. There is also no logo, which is really important for us because if we see there is a logo, uh, on your boat, automatically it will be deleted. And you know, when you Photoshop and you delete a logo, it's downgraded in number of pixels. So the pictures are not so strong and not so efficient. So here really original photos should definitely be a priority. Uh, after original photos, minimum you should have eight to 12 uh, pictures uh, per ad. So horizontal uh, format. Uh, what I was telling back in the days to owners, besides boat, last few uh, pictures, you can put picture of your city or a place where a boat is located, or you can put a nice bay close to your marina where they can reach with the boat. So this way you can also give more uh, info uh, to your clients who are interested in your boat. Maybe you can suggest them uh, some sailing route with uh, these pictures that you are proposing. 
basically are making their uh, choice way easier so they don't have to organize by themselves that everything is already displayed in their ads and by this you're also reducing communication as i said in a high season is when it's pre pretty hectic uh, sometimes it's uh, really hard to uh, reply to all messages and if the clients they have everything written in the ad all information displayed there is higher chances to automatically book without even communicate communicating with you uh, after we, you take care of photos, uh, it's description. Uh, till today, we have lots of owners who have the script. Uh, uh, there is none description in their ads, which is pretty hard for uh, customers to get more info about uh, both. For example, if you go on Airbnb, you will never find uh, apartment ad without uh, any description there is always displayed at least uh, several sentences uh, what are they selling here we are usually requiring minimum 150 words and what is really important that a description should be unique and original so if you copy paste them from somewhere this is a small marketing trick that I'm giving you. You're not going to be displayed uh, in a Google uh, pages of results because they're already duplicated words. So it's hard to compete with other links. What I can tell you, just re uh, just write from your heart and from your head about your boat, about uh, where a boat is located. In the next slide, I will give you more structure uh, that uh, I suggest owners to follow. Also, what is important here is to choose a title. So title that contains a, a boat brand or model or sailing destination. For example, here you can see that I put welcome on this Bavaria 40 in a sunny Hvar. So automatically Bavaria 40 and a Hvar is going to be linked with uh, this uh, ad and it's going to be easier uh, to book uh, in the future. So the structure, as I said, the structure of uh, of description should be in several parts. Definitely, you should talk firstly about uh, your boat. So how many people can fit on a boat? Uh, how many cabins? What's the horsepower of your engine? When you, when you say more about your boat, you can switch to a sailing destination. So where is boat located? Uh, which uh, bays or which uh, uh, islands around or places around they can visit with your boat depending on a daily uh, trip or depending on a more days uh, trip. Uh, what I always say to owners, really avoid shopping list of equipment because we have an exhaustive uh, list of equipment that you can put. So there is no need to uh, write everything in equipment. Here it's more describing a boat describing a destination by, of course, using this, uh, some words that I put in pink, because with these words, you're definitely positioning uh, yourself on Google uh, higher, especially in the nautical industry. Uh, so for example, we have navigate, sail, we have sailing with or without skipper, water sports, wakeboard, uh, skiing, fishing, uh, cruise, co-navigation, etc. So everything connected with the nautical industry uh, will help you to position better self on Google. And later we will talk more of positioning uh, in our first pages results. But this is something uh, which will definitely uh, help you when you write uh, your description for ads. So... And the last part that we have, uh, so as I said in the description, don't write uh, all equipments of your boat because we have a really, really long equipment list that you can use. Uh, every year we are actually expanding with our product team. Even if there is not such a huge demand, we are expanding. So you can put everything that you have uh, for your boat and for your fleet in equipment list. And this is so original photos, description and equipment is a perfect ad which is likely going to be booked. So if everything is upgraded, if everything is cleaned and taken care of, as I said, all information is displayed. Client who is willing to book your uh, boat, it's definitely easier for them. You're reducing communication and there is higher chances of uh, getting uh, your boat uh, booked. Other thing, how can you also attract uh, some clients and what you can put in your uh, content of ads is definitely proposing uh, discounts because by discounts you convince uh, clients to book. 
if you never had a booking so far with us, you can always propose first booking discount. Uh, when you close uh, in the end, the first booking, you ask for review, you get uh, your uh, five star review, which automatically reviews are pushing you in a first pages of results and automatically you are getting more and more bookings. Besides first booking discount, we have early booking or last minute bookings. This is mostly popular for uh, uh, for motorboats and ribs uh, in a high season or uh, last minute discounts for sailboats, let's say in uh, in uh, end of uh, September, beginning of October or longer period discounts. Sometimes we have clients who are interested in renting boat on three weeks. So maybe you can propose them a discount for a longer period. In the next slide, I will show you how to make a discount. So you go to my listings. and you press edit for example here i have one boat in my fleet which is bavaria 38 and when i scroll down i press discount tab and here as i said you can see all the possible discounts that we can give you can give it 10 uh, percent 15 percent you can also customize your own discount and you just press save and it's going to be or if you if you want to do a last minute bookings so two days before booking uh, or you put last minute booking window minimum rental duration and you also put how big you want to have a discount you can also apply these discounts to all your fleet or only to one you can think or you don't think and the last one but not least is a early uh, bird discount this is for example if you want three months in advance one month in advance and you put minimum uh, rental duration and how much uh, what's the percentage this is what i mean sorry and this is basically how you uh, create discounts it's really really easy and it's definitely pushing clients to book your boat uh, other uh, thing which especially during uh, this unpredicted uh, times and uh, we are still uh, in a pandemic back uh, in the days one, almost one year ago we invented a covid badge uh, meaning that uh, all owners who are proposing more flexible cancellation policies it's going to be they're going to have displayed covid badge so uh, this is definitely what what is helping to our clients to mostly like to book with the owners who have this badge how can you get this badge is basically um, you can contact your uh, account manager but you cannot get this badge if you're not giving any flexible conditions some of the flexible conditions would be if a client's uh, uh, plane got cancelled so they don't uh, they cannot make it to your country where your boat is located or uh, for example, some of the clients is a positive, so the, they, you also offer a voucher so you can reschedule uh, your your booking to some uh, either for one year or for one after one month, etc. These are more flexible conditions. Uh, if you're offering something like this, and we definitely suggest you because right now, for example, some of the countries, they're also asking quarantine. Uh, Italy, you need to be five days in quarantine. Greece, seven days in quarantine. So we don't know what is going to happen in the upcoming months, but this is all just for you to be sure that you're going to have some bookings in the end and the clients are uh, going to book with you just so they, they feel more uh, easy and eager uh, to close uh, bookings with your fleet. As I said, if you're having uh, any flexible conditions, contact your uh, account manager. Uh, they will, you can discuss with them. And then according to this, you will get uh, your badge, which is going to be displayed to, to all uh, our Click and Boat community. Uh, third part. So basically we covered everything regarding content. So we said, just to recap, we said original photos, description, equipment, also uh, uh, writing, uh, putting discounts and promotions and COVID uh, badge displayed in your ads because this is everything connected visibly uh, what the uh, clients see when they first join a click and boat uh, website and when they're thinking and planning to uh, book a boat. Uh, now we are switching to account performance. 
which is really, really important because here you're in charge of it also. You're owner of your fleet and you're owner of your account. So how can you uh, perform better? And by performing better, automatically you're appearing first uh, in our new searching algorithm. So your fleet is displayed first in uh, first pages of results. So firstly, and mostly important, uh, I think I said this so many times uh, to owners, is response rate in time. So be responsive and be quick. Reply to all messages that you receive answered in a less than 24 hours because in the end clients they really like reactive owners also they can see in each ad you can see that it's displayed response rate and response time so clients can see if there is a response time two days there and maybe they're booking last minute boat there are way way lower chance they're going to rent with you I know that in time of high season, it's really crazy and hectic and uh, you're running from one marina to another, from one boat to another. This I can completely understand. But in this case, download Click and Boat app. It's uh, really easy to use. Uh, it's uh, similar like WhatsApp. Every time when you receive a message, you will receive a notification or every time you receive a booking request, you will automatically get notification. So. Uh, in this situation, uh, our mobile app is perfect if you cannot be in front of laptop and you cannot answer, etc. We have it also for Apple uh, products and for Android uh, phones. So I really, really suggest you high season is coming. We are in April and some point in the July and August is going to be really crazy. And it's in your interest to close bookings and to reply to all uh, messages on time that you are receiving for our potential clients. After response rate and time, we, we have acceptance rate. So what is acceptance rate? Basically, uh, it's pretty simple. So it's a percentage of bookings that you accept over total number of bookings requests that you receive. So uh, this is definitely uh, our key metric in our algor algorithm, meaning the less booking requests you refuse or let expire, the more score and visibility is going to be displayed and increased in your ads. So you, you know that when you receive a booking from a client, you can either refuse it because uh, your boat is uh, uh, booked and it's not available for the date when a, uh, when a client is asking, or you can let it expire, meaning that you didn't accept or cancel your booking. But if you're doing this, automatically your acceptance rate is, going to, rate is going to be way lower. How can you actually increase accepting rates? Because increasing accepting rates means increasing visibility on click and boat. More visibility, getting more customer and making more, uh, more business. So owners, as I said, who refuse or let expire booking requests, they will be penalized, meaning that you won't get uh, fee that you need to pay, but you will be uh, lower displayed in our searching algorithm and automatically you will be getting less and less opportunities to uh, book your boat. How can you change your acceptance rates and what can you do here? Basically, always accept booking requests of your customers, of clients. But, but when I say always accept, it means keep your calendar up to date because we know that you're not working only with Click and Boat, Nautal, uh, and other platforms. You are working probably with uh, your own website. Maybe you're working uh, with other travel agencies in your uh, in your place, in your city. Well, this is why here it's really, really important to keep your calendar up to date. Also, our customers they like to see real, reliable information about their availability about availability of your boat online. So. You also have to understand customer who uh, sends you a message that they would like to uh, rent a boat for uh, one week. And then you answer to them saying, oh, unfortunately, boat in this period is not uh, available. But on Click and Boat, you didn't block calendar and they thought it's actually available. So also make sure that the prices that are displayed in booking settings are correct for all of your boats. And what can you do? Besides uh, keeping your calendar up to date, but about calendar availability, I will tell you more later in our slides. 
is use our advanced notice feature. I'm not sure it, if all of you know about this feature or they ever use it. If this is basically a feature, if you're not willing to accept uh, last minute requests of bookings from our uh, clients. In the next slide, I will, uh, I will show you how to use this feature. So you go to price, you press on a price and I'm sorry, hold on. I apologize, it's, I apologize, it doesn't want to, just a second, okay. My mistake. So you go to price, you press on your price listing and you go reservation settings. Here you can also put a minimum charter period. So let's say that you don't want to rent uh, only on daily basis. You can put how what's the minimum uh, charter period you want to rent your boat uh, on. So we say reservation settings, minimum charter, uh, charter period. For example, here I, for my boat, I put three days and I can apply to all uh, periods and all other boats in my fleet. And then we have advanced notice, meaning that I want to be uh, notified at least four days before booking actually starts. And here I just press confirm. So this way I know that I won't get any last minute uh, bookings and I put four days minimum, you can put one day minimum, you can put two, you can put even higher numbers if you don't want to have a last minute. But this way, you will be sure that the clients won't be contacting you because it's going to be displayed in an ad when they're, going, uh, when they're thinking of renting your boat. As I said, I've, be, oh, the only thing besides advanced notice, there is a calendar availability, which I can really not point out how important it is you should be uh, updating your calendar in a high season on a daily basis and in a low season on a weekly basis or every time when you receive a booking somewhere else, you automatically go on your uh, account where you can uh, update your calendar because you're getting higher chances uh, of booking your boat if the client actually can see that uh, boat is not available in a period that they want to rent it. Uh, if you don't update uh, your calendar regularly, automatically you will your acceptance rate, uh, rate is going to be lower, meaning that you will be refusing or letting expired bookings and automatically you will be uh, dropped in a searching algorithm. So you won't be displayed in the uh, first pages of uh, results. In this slide, uh, we can see uh, how to uh, block a calendar. So you go to my listings. Here I have a uh, one boat in my uh, fleet. Press a view calendar. And let's say I want to block uh, from June uh, 27th till June 30th. I put reason why I'm blocking my boat. So unavailable, we have breakdown or damage or end of season. This is mostly during a uh, winter they put. So I will put unavailable because I closed my booking uh, with some other platform. Here you can see it's already created. So from 27th of June till 1st of July, my boat is not available. And I can actually go to preview listing and I can see that these dates, if I go to June, are booked. So from 27th till 1st of uh, July, I uh, blocked my calendar and I know that clients, they won't be sending me messages for these days because they can see it's not available. Other uh, a feature which is really, really also important for your account performance and how can you boost uh, your revenues and close more bookings is basically push, uh, using a special offer. So pushing our client to book with you by making him maybe a cheaper price or price a uh, lower price uh, for the boat. You can also propose a different boat from your fleet. So in, in case uh, 
in case a client asks you for a boat, but the boat maybe it's not uh, available or you're awaiting some other client to finally confirm you that they are taking a, your boat, by special offer, you can actually propose uh, your boat, uh, you can propose some other boats from your fleet. Here we can see how to make a special offer. So you go to my messages. You press on my messages. It will open conversation uh, with the client. Here I can see that the client asked me what's the best price uh, for your boat. I'm interested. He put the dates that he would like to rent, but maybe these are not even the dates that I'm willing to rent a boat. Here I choose, for example, here I have only one boat in my fleet. So I choose Bavaria. I can choose different dates. Let's say that I want to rent him from Friday to Friday. I press OK. I can change check-in, check-out. I put 8.30 and I want to have check-out at 5.30. You can add uh, extras if you want. For example, here I'm offering professional skipper. And I'm putting a price, a uh, gross price of, uh, of my boat. It's going to be displayed net. And I put when is this uh, offer expiring? So I gave him time till 15th of uh, December, uh, till noon, uh, to accept or to refuse this offer. And automatically he's going to get a message saying, I sent you a personalized offer for my boat from this to this date in amount of 5,500 euros. As I said, here you can see uh, on the right side, it's a higher cost. And then uh, down below, you will see rental net amount. It's 4,510 euros. This is uh, net, so how much you are getting after our, um, after our commission. And you can always choose cancellation conditions, for example. So special offer, it's a great feature that you can use, especially in a high season. Uh, if you get uh, canceled your booking uh, for, on other platform, but you still want to rent on Click and Boat and you have interested client, you want to be sure that you will close with us. So you just sent a special offer, maybe for a cheaper price, or you can offer, as I said, some other boat from your fleet. There are multiple options, but I really suggest you to use uh, this feature uh, in your profile. And last uh, thing is uh, becoming a super owner. I'm sure that uh, you saw uh, already uh, this little badge. Uh, basically, uh, we are rewarding our best owners who are trying to set example for other owners uh, on Click and Boat. And of course, there are some criteria you need to meet to get this badge. Uh, there are lots of benefits of uh, being super owner. Uh, I will tell you more in the next slide. But uh, this, these are six criteria. So you need to have responsive time less than 24 hours. The response rate needs to be more than 85%. You need to have at least five booking, uh, bookings closed on your account. So you cannot become super owner after one closed uh, booking. You need to have a more booking history with us. Free bookings reviewed. Uh, this is uh, what I'm saying to owners. It's really, really important. Uh, after booking is done, if everything was okay, and you can see that the client is happy, ask them to leave review because reviewers are also moving you uh, to first pages of a result. And uh, this just benefits you. If you check uh, first pages on Click and Bot, you will see they're all uh, uh, ads with full of reviews and all ads with a super owner status. Uh, less than 20% uh, cancellation rate by owner. And overall, you need to have a rating of 4.5 uh, stars. So for each booking, a maximum you can receive is uh, five stars and a lower number is uh, one star. And by this slide, I uh, will conclude a uh, part of account performance. So what is what are actually super owner benefits? Uh, besides being displayed in the first pages of results, uh, also you have this badge, you can see number of reviews, but clients, they can also uh, filter uh, only by super owner uh, uh, ads. So this definitely enables uh, targeting uh, 
profiles they they like. You can also uh, one of the benefits is access to clicking about events. Unfortunately, right now we are still in a pandemic, so we don't we are not organizing any events besides virtual uh, webinars. But as soon as everything comes down, of course, uh, if you're a super owner, uh, you will be invited to some of our events because it's in our interest to work with our partners and to provide the most uh, exclusive uh, offer we have. And by this, we reached, uh, we finished our third part. Uh, what is also important, you can reach us on several uh, channels. There is live uh, chat support. You can reach uh, your account manager. As I said, we sent a campaign where you can have, where you have displayed information from your uh, from your uh, account manager. So they have, you have their email and you have phone number. You can also uh, reach a live phone support. Uh, I don't know if you're following us already on Facebook, LinkedIn, on Instagram. Uh, also, what will be interested for you, uh, I created a Facebook uh, group for owners. Uh, I'm sure that you already got a link. Uh, you, after this uh, webinar, you will get this presentation and uh, uh, it's going to be linked uh, to this uh, Facebook uh, emoji. So you can join our uh, Facebook group. Uh, over there, we are sharing tips and tricks. Uh, also, what we talked during presentation uh, how can you close more bookings uh, with us? And uh, we reach, uh, we came to our last part, which is uh, questions. Uh, I heard there was a some questions asked during presentations. Now you can also uh, ask if you want. We can also share maybe our screen and help you uh, understand easier. I hope it wasn't too fast for you. Also, I hope uh, you managed to catch up and to learn new things which you can use uh, in this uh, season. And I'm really happy this is the second webinar. As I said, this is not going to be the last one for sure. Uh, I'm enjoying in this project. Uh, we will continue with uh, going on, especially after your positive feedbacks that you gave us uh, back in December. Thank you once again for listening and we can continue with questions. Okay, mm, so I will take the lead and then uh, my colleague Sophie and I will try to answer all the questions that actually we got. So uh, the first question that uh, we got is very interesting and uh, it, it was Christiana who asked us actually which are the best dimensions to use for photos. This is a, a very interesting question, but uh, like uh, of course the bigger uh, the size, the, the better it is. So we always invite you to upload a very good quality pictures because uh, as uh, Lucia was saying, like the pictures is the first thing that uh, the clients see in the advertisement, then they scroll down, they check the description, but the pictures of, uh, of the boats are very important. So the bigger, like the dimension, the, the better it is. Uh, but for your information, like there's a minimum size that is, that is required, that is 400 pixels. Of course, if you have it bigger, like uh, as I said uh, already, like it's better, but this is like the minimum that uh, you, you, the size of, uh, of your picture needs, uh, needs to be in order, in order to be, uh, to be uploaded. Uh, then um, I, I will take another, uh, another question and then I will ask, uh, I will um, let uh, my colleague Sofia to, to take over. Actually, um, there is Xavi, I, I hope that I pronounced it correctly that was asking us, uh, in order to automatize some actions, is it possible to synchronize the reservations in voices? Um, is it possible, sorry, to synchronize the reservation calendar from Click and Bot to my Google Calendar? This is a very, very interesting question, uh, and it's going to be very useful uh, in, uh, in, the next, uh, in the next months. In fact, as my colleague uh, Lucia was saying, uh, there's been the acquisition of, of Nauta, and uh, that is uh, one of, uh, that at the time, like back in the time, so was one of our biggest competitors right now. We are really like uh, one big group. So uh, on Nauta, uh, there is the possibility to synchronize your calendar, your Google Calendar with the system. So what we will do, uh, the next steps that we will take in the next months will be the synchronization in terms of calendar, prices, and equipment. These are the main, like, uh, features that we will try to synchronize between Nauta and, and Click and Bot. This means that if you have an account on Nauta, and uh, hopefully and soon all of you will have it, 
you will be informed about that uh, in, uh, in the next month and some of you have already been uh, been informed once you will have your account on Nauta, there will be the possibility for you to synchronize the calendar uh, on Nauta uh, with uh, your Google Calendar and automatically in the next month the IT is still working on it we will be able to have the same information also on click and vote so once you will update the calendar on your Google Calendar the same information will be displayed both on Click and Bot and, uh, and on Nauta. It's something that is going to happen, and uh, it's something that we definitely want because we want to make uh, your life, uh, guys, much uh, much easier. And if this like a feature can help you, like uh, also improve your performance, of course we will do our best in order in order to do that. Uh, and then there's another question. Uh, sorry, Sophie, and then you will go so that uh, I will try to, to be as fast as possible, but as, at the same time as clear as possible. There's another um, uh, customer that has asked, I am new on the platform, how can I add a discount to attract more customers? This is a very, very good question. Actually, like, uh, if you don't mind, guys, I, I will uh, try to uh, share my screen so that you will all see. Uh, Lucia already said something about it, but uh, we will do it together. So I will show you which are the big, uh, I mean, the most uh, important uh, extras that we do have. Just uh, uh, give me a second. I need to, um, I need to, I will share the screen in, in uh, one second. Sorry, Sofia, if, if in the meantime you want to take the question, like I will, uh, I will uh, log in. Yes, of course. Thank you, Sara. Uh, let me get to the first question. It's coming from uh, Joy from US, actually. So thank you, Joy. Um, the question is about half day prices for sailboats. I know a lot of uh, my owners in Croatia uh, have the same question. Uh, it's true. Unfortunately, uh, it's still not available on Click and Boat. The half day price for sailboats, catamaran and yacht. Uh, why? Because uh, it really, um, there was uh, the least, uh, let's say, uh, supply and demand for this type of charter on our platform. But as we have developed our network of owners uh, all over the, the world, uh, it's definitely become one of our priorities. Um, for now, clients cannot send you booking requests for half day charter. However, they can send you requests for one day charter and we have uh, many tips uh, that we can uh, help you share with you to to optimize this and to still close uh, bookings uh, for less than one day for sailboats. Um, one of the the tips uh, is definitely including uh, your full price list in the description. So if you offer a charter per hour or a half day charter, just put it in the description somewhere and the beginning. This way, clients uh, who find your offer for one day, they can also see, uh -huh, you offer also a half day charter. They can send you a message and simply in a few clicks, you can just reply to their message with specialized offer. My colleague Lucia already uh, showed you this in her presentation. And of course, we will uh, share with you uh, a nice brochure where you can see how to do it step by step. But in few simple clicks, clicks you can choose the date you wish, and you can choose check-in and check-out hours. So if you have a half-day charter, you just simply choose uh, from uh, nine to, to two, let's say, and you send the offer to the client, then all, all the client needs is to accept this offer for the half-day booking to be confirmed for your sailboat. Um, this is definitely the trick that works uh, for, for uh, partners who have this type of charter. Um, for example, uh, if you're coming from Dubai, um, this is definitely the way we're going. Um, and I'll be happy to share with you our, our brochure after this uh, webinar. Sara, I let you take uh, take um, your question and show uh, the discounts. Thank you very much, Sofia. So I will share my screen. Um, just give me a second. Okay. I hope that it works. Does it work, guys? Yes, we can see your screen perfectly. Okay, perfect. So actually, uh, how to add uh, discounts? Whenever you log in your account and you click on listings, there will be like for you the possibilities to, to decide which listing you want to work on. Here, I'm, I'm already on the only listing that I do have on, uh, on my account. And uh, I click on discount. So there's this drop down menu on the left uh, side of, uh, of your screen. You click on discounts and you will see the different type of discounts 
will, uh, will pop up. The, the first one is uh, the so-called first booking discount. It's generally the kind of discount that I suggest to all the new boat owners because like it's something that it really uh, like uh, can boost the advertisement and in order to get the first uh, the first booking it's going to be valid just for the first client and uh, automatically it will automatically disappear as soon as uh, actually you you close the first uh, booking so you click on add and you have the possibility to select uh, a discount between 5 10 15 and 20 percent if you have more boats on uh, on your account you tick the apply to my other boats and the same first booking discount is going to be applied to all the boats for which you never close the booking on click and boat so let's say that you have three boats on your account uh, with one of them you already closed the booking with the other two you did it if you set a 15 percent booking discount and you tick apply to my other boats this first this 15 uh, percent first booking discount is going to be applied to all the boats that you never close that booking with then we do have the early bird discount this encourages renters to book the boat early in the season so what does that mean you click on add uh you you say okay if a client of mine is gonna book my boat with one month in advance for a minimum of uh, seven days, so just for weekly rentals with a one month notice, I will apply 10% discount. Same reasoning that I that I made for the first booking discount. You tick apply to my other boats, you save, and the same kind of discount will be applied for all of the boats that you have in uh, in uh, in your fleet. In this case, it doesn't matter if you have already closed bookings with that boat or not. It's going to be generally valid for the whole fleet then there is the last minute last minute booking so it's exactly the opposite of the early bird discount if someone books my boat last minute i will make a, i will make a, a discount so if someone books my boat one day before the booking for a rental of minimum i don't know three days i'm gonna apply uh, that discount 10 percent 15 12. in this case you can really play a bit with uh, with the discount that you that you like the most and then you click on uh, apply to my other boats and uh, it's exactly the same uh, the same reasoning then you do have two more discounts one is length of the stay discounts what does that mean that uh, you propose a discount for clients that will rent your boat for a minimum of days so uh, i will make a discount uh, of uh, i don't know 10 percent if my client if the client is going to book my boat for more than five days this is totally again up to you and also in this case you can uh, tick apply to my other boats uh, and then the last discount that we do have is custom discounts what does it say actually if i am a client and i want to book i mean i am an owner and uh, i want to encourage my clients i want to encourage clients to, to book my boat what i can do is okay if someone books my boat between today and the end of april and the rental date, so the period in which my boat is going to be rented, will be uh, from, I don't know, uh, June 1st to the end of June. In this specific case, if the booking will happen, like, uh, I mean, if the client will proceed with the booking in this period, I will make 13% discount. And you can actually click in discount also available per other. It means that uh, it, uh, it's not going to affect the whole period of the rental so it doesn't mean that the client needs to be on board from the first uh, of june until the end of june it can be also two three four five days rental and again you can tick apply to my other boats so uh, this is always up to you of course the more discounts there are there are the the more attractive the boats will be but generally again this is something that i i strongly suggest to new owners is always to apply the first booking discount and play a bit with the customer length of stay discounts if you're really like not really last minute owners or like uh, you 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 generally book a last minute and you do not want any kind of discount so the, the ones that i generally push more are the first booking discount the, and the the custom and the length of stay i hope that it was uh, uh clear to to all of you guys uh then let's see if i have to take any other question yes there's a very very interesting question uh by steven uh so steven actually you were wondering how it how and if it's possible to insert prices in dollars 
So uh, right now it, it, it's not. Uh, I guess that you're new on the platform. Uh, you will be contacted soon by your account manager, Alara, uh, so that in case she can answer all the questions that uh, that you do have. But right now, at the moment, it's not possible to insert prices in dollars. Uh, it's a European platform, so we are still working on it. It's something that uh, we will definitely do because we are really investing a lot in the US market. Uh, we are aiming, I mean, we have big projects for this market and definitely the IT team will develop this kind of, uh, of features. Right now we do not have it. So what you can do is uh, in order to have up-to-date prices is to convert the price into Euro. You insert the price in Euros and you will see that once you have saved the prices in Euros, if you set dollars as your base currency, that is generally automatic when you subscribe from the from the US, you will see that the price is going to be displayed in dollars. But first, you have to insert it. Uh, you have to insert it in euros. What I can tell you, and what it what it works uh, pretty well right now with uh, all the US owners that we work with, is like really uh, uh, an important usage of the personalized offer. So. I can also like uh, log in as a, as if I was an owner, and uh, you will see that you will have the possibility to uh, like send personalized offer to to clients, and this is gonna happen in uh, in dollars. So just give me a second; I will try to to do it again. In the meantime, uh, let, just give me a second. I think that it should be very very quick. Um, can you please tell me? If you if you see my screen, just give me a second again. Does it is it good? Yes, we can see your screen. Perfect. It's so you click. Great. If you click on create a personalized offer, why it, it's not going? I have a technical issue, so I I will solve it. Uh, Sophia, if you want to go with another question, I will go back to that because it's very important that for all the US owners that they perfectly know how to play with the personalized offer. Thank you. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you, Sara. Um, I have one question which actually connects to your question about the discounts. Um, just to make it clear, uh, once you apply the discount, uh, my colleagues show you how to how to do this. Uh, the discount is visible in the search page results, which means uh, if our client goes and looks for a boat in Athens, your boat uh, will have this uh, uh, this badge on top of the picture in the right corner. Um, however, uh, this is not visible uh, on the photos in your profile. So once the client enters uh, your ad, uh, he cannot see on the photo that you offer the discount. However, just beneath your photos, uh, there are multiple actually booking conditions, let's say. Uh, clients there, before they get to any other information about their boat, about your boat, they can see that you offer a discount, that you offer flexible booking conditions, that you offer a special COVID policy, uh, what is your minimum uh, charter period, and so on. Uh, so definitely uh, a client uh, cannot, cannot miss it uh, this way. I hope uh, this uh, this uh, clarifies a little bit. Uh, Sara, do you maybe want to go back to to Euro uh, to USD? Sara, if you're still checking, I can jump in. There is one question from uh, Dominic. Yes, uh, go, go Lucia. Okay, thank perfect. you, Dominic. Thank you so much uh, for your question. Uh, Dominic asks, are we working with other companies besides Ocean, Evasion, Cancel, and Autal? As I said, uh, no, these are our free uh, sister companies and uh, Click and Boat is a parent uh, company. Uh, I can see that uh, you're owner of smaller uh, motorboat speedboats and you're renting mostly on a daily uh, rental. Uh, and I know that sometimes owners, they like to rent even motorboats and ribs on a longer period. But as I said, there is no need to put on Oceana Evasion and Scansel uh, website because they are working only with sailboats and uh, catamarans on a weekly basis. So they're not working with different type of boats. It's mostly for, it's only for sailboats and catamarans. And in this um, 
case uh, there is no need, you can uh, rent it on uh, Nautal and on uh, Click and Boat. And if you want to rent for a longer, a longer period, this way you can also propose a discount. As I told you, we can offer a discount for a longer period. Let's say there is a interested client for a one week. Uh, if you want to offer for a cheaper price, uh, you can do it. But uh, from what I know, uh, in Croatia, it's uh, mostly uh, last minute bookings, uh, uh, motorboats and ribs. But uh, you can approach you can uh, approach more and get more clients with uh, proposing a discount, especially for a longer period. I hope uh, Dominic, I answered uh, your question, and uh, Sarah, you can continue uh, with your, and we continue with the rest of the questions. Perfect. I will be very like uh, quick. So you are in the booking like uh, in the conversation so i'm talking about now for us owners since like there's the issue but the personalized offer is valid uh, for everyone so if you have dollars set on your account you will see that you will have the possibility to send the offer directly in dollars and you can select the boat that you have if you have just one you will go just with the one that you have you can select the day that you wish so even if like a client contacted you for the 13th, the boat is not going to be available. You want to propose the 18th, you can do that. You can personalize also the check-in and check-out timing. And then under total, like you write the amount that you want the client to pay and automatically you will get like uh, the, the net, uh, I mean here on, uh, on the right side, you will have the net that you will get from the amount paid by the tenant online. And then you can also set an expiration date. In this case, so the offer will be sent in dollars. It's like a very useful tool, especially right now in these conditions that we do net dollars for the for the US owners. So I strongly suggest you to always use the personalized offer whenever you get an inquiry, also because it's the best way to push a client to proceed uh, to proceed with a booking. And uh, then uh, I don't know if there are more questions. Um, uh, okay. I see a lot of I see a lot of questions about COVID, Sarah. Uh, yes, and uh, of course uh, there are many, but I would just like to to uh, maybe group and uh, answer, um, give you an answer of how we can uh, proceed with uh, promoting this for your boats. Basically, if you offer uh, updated booking uh, conditions, um, different uh, let's say down payment, balance payment percentages. Um, any other regulations um, to to possible cancellation requests uh, and so on, please just forward it to us, to your account managers. And in this way, we can basically uh, add you in our system and start promoting this uh, flexible booking uh, condition badge on your profile. Uh, I definitely encourage it because I can see uh, from the partner that I'm working on after we implemented this, it changed um it's changed the the number of requests quests and finally conversions they're making um as well uh, so i definitely definitely encourage it if you're also not sure about uh, you know what to implement you can also advise uh with what for different types of uh, boats and different types of um areas uh so basically to conclude uh, what you need uh, to to do is just send us your pdf award or just information in the email and in this way, we can quickly uh, push it on the platform and start advertising it uh, with your boat. Uh, this is basically about the, the COVID. Uh, I also have a few questions about uh, filtering messages of uh, the owners, of the clients, I'm sorry. Um, there, um, there is a way to, to basically filter the messages uh, you are receiving. Uh, in uh, when you go in your profile on the clickable platform and in the app as well, you can see uh, next to every conversation which is unanswered, you can see a little dot. Uh, and this indicates that this message has not been opened and has not been answered. Um, after a client uh, makes a booking with you, it will no longer be uh, listed uh, in your, let's say, ongoing conversations. This conversation will right away go to your history. Uh, so you will not, uh, you know, during the season, you will not be, you will not have outdated conversations at the top. They're always uh, chronological. So the last request you see receive uh, always appears first uh, in your uh, profile. 
Um, so these are the two, two uh, basically tips on how maybe you can optimize the communication with the client in high season as well. Um, I don't know, Sarah, if you have anything else uh, on your side that you can add on? Actually, uh, no. I think that we answered all the questions um, that we got. Uh, yes, I think that that's it. I think that we should uh, be all good. I don't know if, uh, like, uh, Lucia or Sofia, you, did you see any other questions that I didn't? But I think that it should be... Yes, that there is a, one more question from Eleni, but uh, you're getting a reply from uh, our account manager, Dimitrios, who is in charge for uh, Greek market. So he will answer to your question. No worries. Uh, it's in our interest to answer to all of your questions. I can see there is one more from uh, Peter, who asks, uh, can you send additional photos or PDF? Uh, for now, we still cannot uh, send uh, any PDF uh, or any files uh, through our messaging system. This is why you should put all photos uh, in your ads. As I said, minimum it's 8 to 12 uh, photos, but if you have uh, 30 photos, you can put 30 photos. As long as there is no logo displayed, because uh, we need to remove logo, and automatically removing logo, its uh, number of pixels are lower and it's blurry. Also, good quality and original pictures are really, really important. Uh, in the future, we will see uh, about uh, this uh, product uh, invention. But for now, uh, I suggest you to put all possible information about your boat uh, in your ads as I cover the area content of uh, your ads. Uh, I will also uh, send you uh, uh, our presentation that I used uh, for today on your email addresses that you left uh, when you subscribe. Uh, and that's uh, basically it. Okay, I have one more. I have one more question from uh, Brane from Croatia, which I would also like to address as uh, for us account managers. This is one of the most common uh, questions, and I'm sure it's one of the most common questions on mind uh, for all of our partners. Uh, basically, about it's about how the COVID is affecting the charter, and are there any bookings already for this season uh, in uh, Croatia? Um, in fact, uh, yes, the, the season is definitely uh, different. Uh, the dy dy dynamics are different than in any other season before. However, I think uh, as the whole industry, we are adapting very, very well uh, just with, with the different, uh, you know, booking uh, conditions and uh, the um, ways we handle and treat each uh, request from a client or from the owner. Um, there are definitely a lot of uh, bookings, especially uh, I. I can speak for Croatia. I can see a lot of uh, requests as well. And uh, please, for all the owners which are not maybe receiving uh, so much uh, traction to their ads, uh, please uh, just uh, contact us. Uh, this means that there is definitely space for improvement. As you know, uh, in Croatia, we, we have been working for many, many years. So we basically work already with uh, all the charters. Um, and I understand that, that um, it's harder now maybe to stand out than it was a few years ago. So please uh, just contact your account manager and I'm sure uh, by implementing your COVID policy uh, or uh, updating your ads with uh, new photos, with a uh, new description, um, just fixing the prices, I'm sure we can increase uh, the, the number of requests and conversions for this year as well. So that's that's about it. I think this would be all from uh, from us. Uh, I, Lucia, I let you yes, complete. Yes, there is one more. I will answer, yes. and this we will wrap it up because uh, we prognose to have uh, one hour. It's from Dominic who asks: Is it possible to erase uh, mistakes uh, from your account because he didn't know that updating calendar is so important? Uh, unfortunately, it's not uh, possible, but uh, it's never too late. This is exactly why we have a webinar right now, just before season. So you get all the tips and tricks. How can you improve your account in pro uh, performance? How can you change content of your ads? How can you be ready for a high season? So exactly after this webinar, you, you will go to your account. You can block your calendar if you 
already have some uh, close bookings for season 2021. But uh, as soon as you uh, start uh, using all the features and all the uh, uh, tips and tricks, automatically your acceptance rate is going to get higher and it's going to increase. So there is no need to be worried. As I said, this is exactly why we decided to have a webinar just before season so you can get all answers uh, to your questions and prepare you as much as possible. So for this, Dominic, uh, as I said, no worries, really. Uh, yes, we answer all our questions. Thank you uh, so much for participating. Uh, I'm happy to see so many owners uh, joining us today from uh, all over the world. I can see there are lots of uh, Greeks, lots of Croatians. We have some uh, U.S. owners. Uh, I'm happy and I hope that uh, you uh, learned uh, today a lot. Uh, you will see I asked you in a poll uh, area, did you find this webinar useful? Uh, you can answer yes or no. Uh, this uh, really means a lot to us because we are getting your direct feedback. And if you liked it, we will uh, do it more often, probably after high season or again in December, like we did it the first one. Uh, I would like to thank uh, all of you. Uh, once again, as I said, I will send you a presentation on your email address that you left uh, when you subscribed. And uh, it was really a pleasure and uh, uh, have a good day and a good afternoon. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye.